The monarch population has declined dramatically in the last few decades, in part because of climate change and increasing parasite rates. Conserve school students and staff participate in research projects on monarchs run by several universities. Collecting, raising, testing, and tagging monarchs are all great ways for conserve school students to learn about the natural world and about scientific methods while making a genuine contribution to real-life research projects. In this short video, you can see students collect parasite samples from a monarch's abdomen and also watch students tag a monarch for research on monarch migration. What you need to do is have its abdomen sticking out the bottom. Should I grab its body? Uh -huh. Here you go. Oh, 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 no. oh, no. oh, 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 what you're going to do is you're going to grab this and you're going to wrap it around the abdomen. I know, man. Like, I feel like I'm going to do what? And you, uh, <laughs> okay. That's what I try to get the abdomen to stick out. I'll get out of the picture. Can you move its little feet? So what you're trying to do is see if any of the scales have. The Excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, he doesn't like you touching it. doesn't hurt him. Really honest. Yeah, I have to wrap it around yeah. completely? Yeah. As well as you can. As well as you can. It yeah. won't go all the way. Just, uh, if you can get it, like... I know. Oh, <laughs> I'm just got to do it. Here, I'll hold his legs up like this. Is that better? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yeah, the legs do present a problem. I remember that, too. I can't see and you just kind of squeeze it, and once you squeeze it, take it off. He is of course, not having squeeze fun. It. Don't squish it. <laughs> oh no! If it didn't have parasites, it has it now. Did you know that Monarch is coming with the parasites? Yeah, I did. Wrapping okay. a, a little like okay, piece of tape around their abdomen. It's on there. Abdomen. Then I just take it off. And About around his abdomen. Okay. Sorry, it's I a boy. Huh? It's a boy. Let show you how we know it's a boy. The boy, it's a little hard to see from this side, but on this vein here, they have like a, a splotch that a girl, the females do not black have. Yeah. Yeah. It's the black dot on this vein. Right down on the lower wing, it has a black dot. A female would not have that. And then we'll let somebody else hold them, and then we have to put the tag on. That's another uh, fun thing to accomplish. You're going to have to pinch the wings a little bit. Okay, now right, right here, you can see like there looks like a little mitten right here. Oh yeah. That's where the tag goes. So do they all hatch in like the yeah. fall? And then you put it on. Uh, no, they hatch throughout the summer. Really? Uh, but the ones that come out I in the think fall are the ones mm -hmm. that migrate, the ones in late summer, oh. migrate to Mexico. Oh, cool. The other generations just give birth mm -hmm. the give, do their so whole life weird. cycle here. Great. Awesome. Perfect. You know where the garden is, right? Put it on a flower. It might fly away right away or it might decide to hang on a flower for a while. Bye. Oh, I'm to like open his wing. That was fun. Thanks.